It's your girl K, and we are back today. Today we are doing K's motherfucking kitchen. Y'all already know how I get down cooking. I'm really like a five star chef for real, for real. Um, we making homemade fries, homemade wings with my special sauce, and got a little sweet treat dessert. So let's get into it. We're making homemade fries and homemade wings today. Potatoes, you're just going to wash them and peel them. I'm not going to show you guys me washing and peeling potatoes. It's just not going to happen. Okay, now once you get them cut up, put them in some water, some hot water. Because, you know, potatoes change colors. And what you want to do is you want to soak them. I'm going to put some vinegar in there, too, to stop it from browning and to draw that starch out. You soak them for the starch to be dried out and to get some of the water out. So you're just going to let them soak for about, like, 15, 20 minutes. Pour the water out. And rinse them off. Of course, you already know. Drain out as much water as you possibly can, please. Potatoes are already 80% water. Chill, 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 chill. So, put these in the freezer and then we'll be back. Preheat your oil for your fries. Um, you want it on low. I'm going to show you uh, two cooking methods to this. It's takes a little bit longer than normal but i promise it's well worth it all right um once you get your fries out of the freezer you're gonna have your grease preheating at a low temperature you don't want it as though you're trying to cook the fries immediately that's not what we're doing today i'm going to show you how to make bomb ass fries and fries are simple so let's not complicate fries people you don't need all that Cajun seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, zataran. You don't need all that for fries. Honestly, fries is just salt and pepper. That's it. Salt and pepper. You never want to make simple stuff complicated. It's stupid because you're going to fuck up your fries. All right. Got your bowl of fries. Put your little seasoning on it. Might look like a lot, but it's not a lot, I promise. Gotta get jiggy with it. All right. Have your oil right here. You just wanna mix. Mix your fries. Mix your fries. Make sure that seasoning is well coated on them fries. Don't be stingy with the seasoning, people. 
season, you fool. And you just gonna put a couple in at a time. Please do not put the whole bowl in. You never, you never wanna crowd, crowd your skillet or your pot or whatever it is that you're cooking in. You never wanna crowd it too much with the food. If you don't have a deep fryer, just get you a, a wide skillet, put some oil in it, let it heat. Wash and blanch the wings. And scrub them together. Then salt and vinegar is going to help blanch them. So, if you let the chicken soak like that for a minute, and we'll be back. Then you want to come back over here to your fries. And just check them. You don't want to cook them all the way down. You kind of just want to cook them to where you can tell, like, they're cooking. As though, like, they start getting soft. But not golden yet. And we're going to let the chicken blanch 
um, you'll know when the chicken is blanched because the chicken will kind of get more of a pale color than how it normally is when you get it. So we're gonna let the chicken blanch. We're gonna let these potatoes cook a little bit more and we'll be back. All right, we got the fries out. We didn't let them, we didn't let the, the grease drain out of them. This was the first batch. This is the second. Like I told you, you don't really want to cook the fries. You just want to cook them to where they soft. All you got to do with these fries is the same thing that Arby's, Rowley's, whoever frozen fresh fries you buy, that's all we doing. That's all we doing. That's all they doing. When you buy frozen fries, they already cook. They just not cook to your liking or your desire yet. They cook and they put in the freezer. And that's exactly what we got to do with this. And they're halfway cooked and put in the freezer and not all the way cooked to your liking for a reason. I will show you that reason. Or share the reason with you. This method does take a little bit longer. Um, um, longer than most methods, but it's worth it. Zip, put in the freezer. All right, now that that's done, we have washed the chicken and cleaned the chicken. We'll make sure, just pat it dry, make sure we dry it. somewhere so y'all can see all right got your chicken you just gonna season it again chicken is simple don't complicate it with too much seasoning or over season it with different things like chicken is simple let it stay simple please so this is some garlic salt i have garlic salt because garlic powder it burns in the oil and um just a little bit of that just a little, just a tad then we got some popcorn and garlic pepper kosher salt because it bring out the flavor just a tad bit. Actually enough like this where you could just ooh fancy. Cayenne paprika. Paprika don't do nothing. It don't have a taste. It's just for color. <laughs> So if you don't have paprika, it's fine. It's you're not missing a taste. You're just missing a color. That's all. Not major. I'm sorry.
now what I'm about to do is dip them in the in the 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 crust. I combine flour, cornstarch, baking powder, and whatever seasoning you want in there. I just told y'all how I am with touching chicken. This is a plastic fork. It's not gonna work too much. Oh no. So all I'm gonna do with this cup is just scoop me some of my flour and I Scoop me some of my flour in out, that's all. That ain't working. Need a utensil. You want to make sure that it's really coated. Um, what do I want to do with this? Hold up. Alright. Just going to set that right there and do the same thing I just did. All you're gonna do is just keep coating them. Make sure they are coated. Did you see flour on all of them? In every crease and crevice. That's how you want it to look. All right, let me do a drawing. Because my mom is a drum. I'm flats. You know, flats, we winning over here. All right, and then y'all literally just gonna do this with all your chicken, however much chicken you plan on cooking. Um, I'm not gonna cook all this chicken because I don't like leftover chicken. And all this chicken is not gonna get eaten today. So. Once you got your chicken coated, take them and chill them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make our dessert filling. Um, all you need is whipped butter. You need whipped butter, not stick butter, um, not spreadable butter. I mean, you can use it, but you need it to be soft. Whipped butter is gonna stay soft, so whipped butter, cinnamon, sugar. It's sugar in here. You know, black people push, put stuff in containers that don't even belong to it. And you need a little salt. This is unsalted whipped butter. If you want to get salted, that's perfectly up to you. You ain't got to add your salt. So, I told y'all I hate shit touching my fingers and stuff for real. I'm not even gonna lie. I normally wear gloves when I'm cooking. But seeing that we are in tough times, gotta be conservative with gloves. All right. Um, we need this. I'm really being five steps short. Chef and trying to get stuff together. Okay, this is a
Okay, I honestly can't tell you how much it is because I don't know it. Don't have it on here, but motherfucker, look at the spoons. Shit. Todd always trying to tell y'all common sense ass shit. really want to say a cup I mean a tablespoon mm. Mm. probably not even a tablespoon because cinnamon is pungent um Cinnamon can you can either taste cinnamon to not enough or you could taste cinnamon too much. Um then I'ma say what is this? This is a third cup. Yes, shit. I don't know. Don't ask me. Shit, because I don't know. Of sugar. Like I said, this is dessert. We ain't trying to be healthy right now. We in survival mode. Fuck being healthy. You want y'all want me to teach y'all some survival meals? Give y'all some survival meal hacks and shit. All right. Now you just want to mix it. salt on a little salt not a lot just a little like literally a little i just did this one because shit it's the smaller one it's the smallest one all right that's salt out you can put it in a refrigerator it's up to you please put a lid on it all i did was throw water in there to see if it was ready this isn't ready yet this is for the fries this is for the chicken after you take the chicken out just gonna take each piece And you drop it in. Take each piece. Drop it in. Ah, uh, hold up. Let me let me get one for the for the for the for the flat haters. Y'all seeing too many flats go in? Y'all say y'all ain't fucking with it. There y'all go. I go a drum. Y'all get one drum. <laughs> and with your chicken you don't want to fully cook it the first time you just kind of want to get like a little sear on them you don't want to fully cook these so just keep watch still got a second batch to do these are gonna come out pretty soon and i'll show y'all why and when to put them back in my test fry you see the fries that we kind of semi-cooked earlier or frozen.
because we want to make sure they submerge in the into the oil. This is probably with okay, we're about to take these off. So let me get something to drain that. So we took those out. We're gonna add the second batch in. We're gonna do the same thing that we just did to those. We're gonna kind of sear them and brown them. Then we're gonna take them out again. If you haven't noticed, the method yet is we're double frying. Double frying acts crisp, it adds flavor, it adds crunch. So that is the method to the chicken and the fries to double fry. So they can be good and they'll be crispy also these are the wings and for its second fry I'll put these two in. by the way for the second fry you want to turn the heat up more I will be doing if I'm gonna keep something a secret. Y'all cannot know the secret to my sauce. This is sassy sauce. K sassy sauce. Ooh. I really know that I shouldn't have the tray out this, but y'all are kind of slow. <laughs> y'all are very, very slow. Take your sauce. However you get your sauce, that's not my problem. That's not my job. I can't give you my sauce recipe. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Put some wings in there. This is the final result. I'm special, so I gotta give y'all something special. It's dessert time. Um, I haven't came up with a name for them, 
but when I do, I'll let y'all know. But here's all of what you need. You'll need some cooking oil. You'll need some biscuits, like the monkey bread biscuits. Um, not like breakfast biscuits. These aren't breakfast biscuits. These are like biscuits for dumplings or something like that. Um, and what we mixed earlier, our, our filling, which was whipped butter, cinnamon, and sugar. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take your oil and pour it in a skillet. Um, you wanna you want a skillet that's kind of deep, but it's still a skillet, not like a pot. So let's pour the oil in there. Gonna pour the oil in there. And one second. This is a little dessert um, type of thing. I'm not like big on, I'm not much of a sweet either. Uh, I'm not much of a sweet eater, but I'm 22 and I'm 74. I'm just in a 22 year old body. So, which means I understand like dessert after you eat, like you be needing some sweet after you eat. So this is something that um, I just whipped up. It's real quick, it's simple, it's easy, but it is, exquisite promise so i'm going to show you how to how to do it um one second okay um it's real quick, it's simple. I wanna show you how to do it. Um, this is the little mixture that we mixed up earlier that um, I showed you guys how to mix up. Just whipped butter, cinnamon, and sugar. That's, that's all it is. And then you need some biscuits. Um, like I told y'all, like the monkey bread biscuits, the buttermilk biscuits, the, the, the small ones, the 12. You don't want any buttery biscuits, um, breakfast biscuits kind. Um, croissants may work. I'll try with croissants one day. Um, I was just showing you guys this so you guys can see if you want to get that kind or just see similar what kind of biscuit bread I'm talking about. But I made some last night, so I'm just gonna use the remainder of the biscuits that I already have in this bag from the can I opened yesterday, last night. And you just wanna stretch it and spread it out. Let me tilt that down for y'all so y'all can see some more. See, all I'm doing is just kind of stretching it out. Mm, I don't want a butter knife. Butter knife. OK. 
Okay, um, as you can see over there, I took my oil off just for a little second um, because I don't want to get, I don't want the oil to get too hot because if it's too hot, as soon as I drop them in, they're going to start browning and getting dark, but it'll still be doughy. It won't be fully cooked just because it looks cooked. Um, if your heat is high and you drop it in there, it's going to automatically start browning and coloring it but it's not fully cooking the biscuit. So it may look like it's cooked, but it'll be very, very doughy. So you wanna kinda have it on a, a semi-low heat. Not low, but not medium. So semi, semi-slow. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. But anyway, take your and see, this is why you wanted the whipped butter. Let me show you again. This is why you want the whipped butter. Because there's no, there's no hassling with the butter. You know, sometimes you got to set the butter out for it to be softened. Or wait for it to kind of just soften up. But that's why I told you guys about the whipped butter. Because even if you put whipped butter in the refrigerator, it's made to stay whipped it's made to it's made where it should be in a refrigerator but it's still the consistency is whipped okay got um Got some filling in there. Um, you can add however much filling you want to add. I don't add. I add just the right amount. And I'll show you guys why. Why I don't use, a, use it a lot inside of the, of the tree. Then... You're gonna take it and you're gonna take it and fold it so it looks like that, and then you're gonna press down on the ends to make sure anything doesn't seep or leak out. Always flip it over so you can see, just so you can see. All right, took a fork. I'm trying to be all fancy and shit. And this is how it should look. You see the, the edges are closed. You will see nothing snooping out. And that's really just all you want to do to, to all of them. No matter just however many you want to cook. So I'm going to. Yes, we're gonna do that with all of them. 
also want your use kind of low. Probably about like four. that with that with that on the side this is the best part I just never like I said I just never seem to amaze myself like it's already good but baby you dip it in this butter right here Texas Roadhouse ain't got shit on me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. My motherfucker is good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching Kate's Kitchen. If you like, let me know.